tummy bites. Good morning. How y'all doing? Peace, love, and light. Thank y'all for joining Tommy Bites Carolina Homestead. If you are new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe, like, share, and comment down below. I'm about to water my garden. And I'm tired. It's, I'm just tired, y'all. <laughs> I'm tired. Um, so, happy Mother's Day. Today is Sunday. I don't know if I'm posting this today, but anyway, y'all. Let's get to watering. So I'm watering my grass right now because I put some seeds or something down to block the weeds from coming up that you see in my neighbor's yard. Okay, so I'm going to start with my onions down here at the bottom of my steps. I had already started. I have it on Mr. Mr. Misting. As you can see, they're doing nicely. And these are the ones I got out of my pantry. These are the green onions that came out of the pantry. They're doing pretty good. These are my sweet potatoes. Look at how when I put them in the soil, y'all, it was just a sweet, if you can see in there, a sweet potato nothing on it and I planted in the soil I also have some in the house that have um, slit slips starting to grow on them but these right here are doing so good out here turning to regular little plants but that's sweet potato so you can take stuff out of your um, pantry that you might not be getting ready to use. This one is going a little slower than the other one. And you can regrow your stuff. Now these right here were from seeds. And so now these are the jalapeno peppers that I'm watering. You don't want to overwater them here. We have our spinach. Let me let you take a look at it before I start watering. We got our spinach over here. They're doing good. These came from seeds as well. And I, I put them in the uh, hanging basket that my strawberries came in. Because I put my strawberries in something else. So they're doing well. Then over here, we have more sweet onions. Because y'all eat a lot of sweet onions, making this uh, seafood sauce and everything else I use onions with. I love onions. More uh, jalapeno peppers. They're doing great. Water my. Ooh, I keep spraying my phone. Oh my God. What in the world? Okay. Y'all, I keep spraying my phone. This thing ain't gonna work in a minute. So this is my plant that my husband gave me for Mother's Day. Get her nice and wet up. Okay, these are my, this is my cabbage that I have in a cement mixer that I got from Lowe's. I did get some from Home Depot too. They're doing well. And I have corn stalks in there as you can see. Let me show you. This is my corn that I put in here. And they were seeds. All of these were seeds. The cabbage and uh, the corn. I have two more stalks here. Three, four, five six that's seven seven stalks of corn in here and they came from corn seeds so you can grow i'm new to this i've been watching people grow um 
whether it be on YouTube or my, you know, seeing my sister and her pictures of her garden. And it was time. I wish I had put more soil in there, I'm going to be honest with you. Because um, I put the soil down here. But I wish that I had put the soil up to here. Um, so I'm trying to decide, do I need to transplant it into something deeper or not? Y'all can let me know. I've seen people grow in these. They've grown their cabbage in there, but I think they had more soil in theirs. I don't know how to add. It's too late for me to add soil to it, y'all. So, if you have some ideas, let me know in the comments. So, these are my strawberries. Strawberries. I probably watered them a little more off camera I'm just putting a little a little bit on the leaves and the soil I didn't do it yesterday I didn't do it Saturday I also have um I don't remember planting any corn seeds in here but I think something got in here and I don't know if it, it could have came from the um manure that I had in here too so you never know I'm just gonna let it grow whatever that is see what it is i've eaten off of these strawberries already so that's why you don't see anything on there um me and my son ate some i think my daughter ate one but they're they're still putting out strawberries it's still growing look at that it's still growing um trying to see if i see any and the this right here that's like, that's an eggshell. You can uh, save your eggshells, let them sit. You can even mix them with a little bit of vinegar and then just put it on your soil. <clears throat> and then the other white stuff is perlite. This is, um, and this container here, which I could have added more soil to all of these containers. I don't know why I didn't. I have corn and I have, um, why is my battery low? I have corn and I have watermelon in here. Here we have our peppers, sweet bell peppers. That's what we got over here. I'm horrible at recording with my hands like this. Then over here we have sweet potatoes. Sweet potato slips. Same thing over here. I have eggshells mixed in with my um, soil as well. And over here we have the yellow neck squash. And then over here you have your lettuce. And it's doing pretty good. See how that, I don't know what that is growing up. That might might have came from the soil. I'm not sure. But the yellow neck squash is doing good. Look at that. It's starting to get little blooms on it. Little blooms on it. So they're budding. They're doing good. They're doing real good. I haven't had any problems, not wood, with any type of bugs over here and check my sweet potato slips they're looking good too but what i did though um y'all is i sprayed because they were getting a little brown like this one right here um i'll just probably pop that off but i used like some peroxide and water mixed together and I sprayed it on to the leaves and then on the soil I used a couple of drops of dish liquid and water I think lead farmer 73 was talking about that and I put that only on the soil the dish liquid and the water not a lot 
So yeah, everything is doing great. Everything is doing great. See how that's, yeah, that's doing good. The strawberries are looking sure good. Look at that. That's new. That wasn't even on there. That just grew out. And you just let them hang, y'all. Just let them hang a line. That's why they came in a hanging basket. But yeah, I'm trying to see if I'm getting any new strawberries, but I don't see any new news on here. And then the cabbage is looking good. I'm just so excited about this. You know, if you're thinking about gardening, please do. It is worth it. I ordered some seeds. So I have some seeds coming in. I have some seedling trays coming in. And I'm just ready to get back and plant a few more things oh i even got some i must have had some lettuce over here too because it's growing over here because i tried to separate them in the bin and i'm gonna get some bigger bins um that way when my seedlings come in and once i start growing those then i'll transfer these out in some weeks to something deeper I'm going to leave the lettuce in there, though. They'll be fine. The lettuce and the cabbage will be fine. But the sweet potatoes and the corn and the watermelon, they're going to have to go in individual deep containers. So, y'all, y'all stay blessed. I'll see y'all on the other side of tomorrow. Peace, love, and light. Thank y'all so much for joining Turn of Light TV. Have a very blessed day. Have a very happy Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.